Jennifer Lopez toted a small Hermes Birkin bag, costing between $5,000-$500,000, while stopping for lunch at posh private club San Vicente Bungalows in West Hollywood on Sunday. The 54-year-old pop star continued her baggy pants parade in wide leg, belted khakis she paired with peep toe heels and a brown ribbed cropped cardigan featuring bell sleeves. Jennifer finished off her daytime look with waist-length hair extensions beneath her natural bob, large gold hoop earrings, and oversized sunglasses a la late flotus Jacqueline Kennedy Onassis. Lopez is honored to co-chair the May 6 Met Gala in Manhattan-themed Sleeping Beauties, reawakening fashion alongside Zendaya, Bad Bunny, and Chris Hemsworth. It will mark the 14th Costume Institute benefit the two-time Grammy nominee has attended beginning in 2004 wearing Dolce Gabbana in honor of the 18th century and most recently last year wearing Ralph Lauren in honor of Karl Lagerfeld. When Anna, Wintour, calls you, and asks you to co-host the Met Gala along with her it's kinda the biggest night in fashion and to raise money for the museum, it was a real honor. Jennifer told Vogue on April 17. It's a nice thing to be a part of. As for the gown, Lopez shrugged. I have a few different sketches. I am still deciding. I am also one of those people who chooses at the last minute. Like, I like choices, and then I go. Okay, this is how I feel today, and then we try to kinda create some type of amazing look, because that is the night for looks. In 2021, the former fly girl and her then-boyfriend Ben Affleck kissed each other while wearing COVID-19 masks at the In America-themed Met Gala, just two years after she kissed then-fiancé Alex Rodriguez at the campy-themed 2019 Met Gala while clad in fringed Versace. Jennifer is currently facing substantial online backlash stemming from her overall unrelatability and cringy, over-the-top vanity projects including This Is Me. Now album, movie, documentary, and tour. If you check any of Lopez TikTok, Instagram posts the comments are filled with people dragging her so-called Bronx roots, blaming her for the death of a TikToker she had shut down and passing off the vocals of African-American singers, Ashanti, Christina Milian, and Brandy, as her own. For instance in 2002, the this time around singer not only kept the entire Jenny from the block chorus and bridge performed by her backup vocalist Natasha Ramos on the finished record, she even kept her giggles and from the Bronx call from the original demo. Due to alleged poor ticket sales, Jennifer had to cancel shows dated August 20-31 and rebrand her 30-date This Is Me. Now, the tour, supporting her album that peaked at number 38 on the Billboard 200, to This Is Me. Live the Greatest Hits Tour kicking off June 26th.